Hey what's up everyone, hope everyone is well. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create lower thirds in Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects. It are these little titles that can pop up in your screen. You can use them for names, for titles, uh, for websites, stuff like that. Um, but we're gonna illustrate it in Adobe Illustrator and then we're gonna animate it in Adobe After Effects. And from there on you can of course just import your After Effects project in Adobe Premiere, uh, put it on top of a video layer, and you're all set. So uh, let's get into it. So we're gonna start in Adobe Illustrator. I've made a artboard with a size for 1080p video, so 1920 by 1080 pixels. And of course, it's called a lower third, but we're not gonna place it in the corner. Um, first of all, that looks kind of weird. But of course on YouTube you also have your play bar and such at the bottom of the video so you want to stay away from that. So something like this should be fine. It might be hard to design this without knowing how it looks with a video behind it. So um, I've already created a layer with a screenshot of me talking to the camera. So that gives you a feeling of how this will eventually look. So for the shape you can decide if you want a normal rectangle or maybe you want to do it like this. Could also be cool. But maybe you want some rounded corners. So hit A and then play around with these corner pins. Of course we don't want to change all of them so make sure you only select one. You see it's glowing. And there we go. Do that for the other point as well. Something like this looks cool. And now let's head over and create some text. So maybe you want to type in somebody's name. Pick a color you like. And of course pick a font you like. This is a free Google font. And when doing this, sometimes you already know you have to type in 10 names. Then make sure you pick the longest name so you can see if it still looks good. So this is the name and maybe you want to show their title. Uh, maybe this guy is a graphic designer. Decrease the size of this. You could also change the color. Uh, I don't know something like this works and now we already have something that's pretty cool actually so now we can go to Adobe After Effects and start by creating a new composition we have the 1080p settings press OK and now we're gonna import the Illustrator file so right click import file this should be fine and now in the composition, right click new solid. And make sure this is the same color as the color we used in Illustrator. So you can go to Illustrator, select this part and just copy the color code. Paste it here, press OK and voila, there we go. Now let's just import this Illustrator file, so there it is. And we can use this to get the same position for the solid. So let's activate the solid again. And let's just select the shape. Press Command C. Go to After Effects and hit Command V. And now just move it around until you have the same position. So this is gonna be our main animation. And now I'm gonna create a new composition for the text. So select this type tool, click somewhere, and now just select this text, copy it and paste it in After Effects. And as you can see, it will copy the setting. So we have the same font, the same font size, so that's cool. And we also have to do this for the subtitle. So go to Illustrator, select this part, copy it, and paste it. 
Now we're gonna move it around a little bit until we like it. Something like this should be fine. So now we have our text, so now we can animate it. And I want the main title to go from left to right and a subtitle from right to left. So hit P so we can change the position and create a keyframe at one second and another one a little bit later. You want to do the same for the other title. And now let's just play around with these settings. There we go. Make sure you add an easy ease to it. Looks quite boring, I guess. So you can play around with the graphs, but you could also use plugins like Ease and Wiz. So we're just gonna apply that. And we don't need to worry about anything. Okay, so now let's go back to the main composition. Let me just turn this off for a second. Now we can actually import the text composition and move it in place. If you want the exact same position as an illustrator, just make sure this is on top and change the opacity a little. And then it's easier to get the same spot. Okay, so right now we have this. And as you can see, this is something we don't want. So we're gonna copy the mask from the solid, paste it on the text composition, and then select all parts of the mask and just drag it into the right position. Something like this should be fine. And now let's look again. There we go looks a lot better. Now if you want you could add some motion blur. So check all this stuff in your text composition. Maybe that looks a little better. And it looks like this. Alright that looks cool but we still need to animate the blue part so let's do that. Again create some keyframes and change the position for the first keyframe. And again, apply ease and whiz. And then after three seconds, let's just make sure all of that stuff disappears. Okay, so now this solid moves out of the screen, but of course we also want the text to disappear. So go to this keyframe over here and then double click on the text composition. And let's just create keyframes for the opacity. And then a bit further, type in zero for both of these text layers. And now it should fade out. Mm move this back a little bit so now we have this very simple but it looks cool if you want to add an animation to the uh, rectangle to the background then we will have to create another new composition and I'm just gonna go to Google and download a grunge background it doesn't matter use whatever you like so something like this should be fine let me just save that image and then just import it to After Effects so let me import it and we're just gonna scale it and maybe you want it to move a little bit so create some keyframes just move it that should be fine then go to the main animation Import it once again and now copy the mask from the solid, paste it on the new composition. And again, we're just gonna move it. Mm, 
Let me move it up. Now you want to link the new composition to the solid so it has the same animation. There it goes. And finally, you probably want to change the mode or the opacity. So maybe you want to put it on overlay so it gets a little subtle. But I also want to change the opacity. There we go. And now once you zoom out, we have this. You see this nice animation on here, which is cool. That's it. A very simple tutorial. Now from here, you can import this After Effects file in Premiere and you know put this on your second video layer and on video layer one you can insert a video clip of you talking. Hopefully this was useful. If you have any questions please drop a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.